some big news here after yesterday Qualcomm launched the latest SOC the Snapdragon Elite what the heck is the Snapdragon 8 Elite because remember the latest ship right now is powering S24 Ultra and all the flagship high-end phones is the 8 Gen 3. And when it comes down to names, the last few years are a bit chaotic for Qualcomm. Because remember, we do have also a, an 8S Gen 3 that's actually not a high-end chip, not so powerful. And then some time ago, they launched Elite Series, you know, for other mobile devices. So it's a bit chaotic. So we expected a Gen 4, but now we got the Snapdragon 8 Elite mobile platform and this for sure is a huge change and it's not only the name but if you want to get a bit more in-depth info go visit android authority they just released a video with a bunch of useful information but also they have been given some first benchmark results android authority also warns us to just treat this with a grain of salt because again it's not yet verified we need to get these devices in our hands but after seeing what this chip potentially can do i can only tell you i am really really interested into buying a phone with this chip a powerhouse new orion defines new mobile era and this is here key in most of the recent qualcomm socs the cores have been produced by arm and this thing changes it because this orion thing is something that they produced i tried to research this online as i wasn't aware and i found an article from ryan smith from anantech earlier this year where he's saying that orion is essentially a third party acquisition by qualcomm and it seems that we are going to get this in our mobile devices the smartphones as per qualcomm this is the fastest mobile cpu in the world with 4.3 GHz peak CPU speeds. Experience an outstanding 45% boost in CPU performance and 44% improved efficiency. And ju just these numbers alone are absolutely crazy. Now, I want to go back to the video from Android Authority. I'm going to link it down below in the comments, guys. As per the benchmarks that they got directly from Qualcomm, the Geekbench 6 single score is really beating the hell out of the Agent 3 and it's very close to the iPhone 16 Pro, but still cannot touch this. But see here what happens on the next test, the multi-core, over 10,000, this kills everything else. Agent 3, 16 Pro, S24 Ultra, it is absolutely nuts. And beyond the cores that are now produced by Qualcomm, there are other design changes in the GPU domain. Usually the way it works, you know how it goes, we have one big GPU core. This thing here is called the new sliced architecture. So apparently now we have three different things. We have the Adreno GPU, the Hexagon MPU, and the Qualcomm Spectra ISP. All of this working together. And as per Qualcomm, this should bring us better FPS, better gaming at all. And again, guys, if you go and watch the video from Android Authority on the wildlife, the Elite is killing the Agent 3 that is already very, very good. And the same happens also in some other testing. And this really seems like a miraculous improvement. 45% single core improvement, 45% multi-core, 62% web browsing. Like, I'm just curious to understand how they calculated this. 24 megabytes largest total cache this will play for sure a role gaming 40 percent improvement 35 percent improvement in ray tracing and remember the samsung attempt to make mobile gaming great again with eclipse 920 and amd this thing here sounds way more impressive unreal engine nanite chaos engine qualcomm orion cpu and also for the camera guys 4.3 gps 33 percent throughput improvement what does this mean? We're going to be shooting like 8K 60 FPS. This sounds really, really crazy. Again, the new slice architecture. By the way, there are also improvements in terms of connectivity for sound, for security. I will link down below the product brief so that you can check all the nice specs. And overall, this sounds so good. Almost feels like it can be true. But the bigger brands will very soon produce phones with the Snapdragon LED. And I am buying this for sure. Just I want to put my hands. I want to run the benchmarks. I want to measure the temps. I have here the 16 Pro Max, the S23 Ultra with the A Gen 2, the S24 Ultra with the A Gen 3. And I'm going to give some very hard times for all of these chips. And we're going to know very soon how real those claims are. But I don't think that a company such as Qualcomm will just do something like that without having the solid proof 
on the back end. Absolutely crazy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check some of my other videos. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.